about the 240 and that I found some uh, worn out lifters so now as I explained before when I had this car originally there was always a tapping noise and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from but today we are I'm gonna show you what's uh, how I figured so that out here we are have the uh, the valve cover off and the the um, the lifters and rockers on your rods that I took off as well. So now it's just the cams that's sitting. Um, you wondering like how I get it to stay? Usually you're supposed to have a tool that you use to actually have it, you know, so these don't move. But what I did was I removed the intake side first. And then I used two 10 bolts that was originally on there to hold the cam down. These are two cam caps, and that's a camshaft. Um, so this way, whenever time we remove the exhaust side, it would not pop up. So now it stays into place. Everything is nice and tight. Um, the timing is still in place, intact. No need to mess with the timing because the reason why this would pop, pop, pop up in the first place is because there's tension on here. So now that I actually have no, I have these two caps that st staying down, I don't need, need to get any tools or anything like that. I don't have to mess with the timing or worrying about the cam popping up or anything like that. So, you know, so uh, let me just show you what I have going on. So what would normally happen is whenever time I'm driving or whenever time is that car is idle, when the car is on idle, you out the car runs fine like there's no noise there's nothing but the moment i put it like a thousand a two thousand to three thousand rpms and onward i would have a tapping noise like right in this area and i could not figure out what it was so as i had the engine apart on the bottom end i decided i pulled the top end as well which is a valve cover and decided to do some more investigation at first, I couldn't get the get to find the tapping noise. I couldn't figure out what was wrong going on, so I thought it was something broken somewhere within. But it would that was not the case. I actually have a rocker um, sh uh, lifter that actually a few of them actually went bad. Um, so what I did was I rotated the engine to take the tension off of each rocker, and then I tried to rock it. So this way I could see who's not doing their job. And of course, these two right here, four cylinder three and cylinder four was giving me problems. And then I took it apart and find these problems. Here we are, I'm on workbench. A little nice setup right here, we got going on. All right, so, so imagine this is the setup on the car. So this is how when you pull it up, pull the valve cover, this is how it's going to be set in the top. The bolts are in the middle, holding it down to the camshaft. All right. So what you do is you rotate the engine where there's no pressure on each cap, right? Or each uh, rocker arm, right? Then what you do is you just tilt it. And if you have any movement where like, see like this movement right here, that movement is because that one is shot because you like bullets on the table. Well, I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Give me a second. All right, so notice that whenever time I'm revving the car, above like 3000 RPMs, you have this tapping, tapping away like crazy. And while driving, it sounds like it's at the back of the engine, back of the you know, firewall area, can't tell where it's coming from, but it's always there. The car runs fine, there's nothing wrong with the car, but there's this tapping. So. When I went and look, found out there was a loose. It was a little bit loose on the rocker arm, and I was like, "All right, now I need to figure out what's going on." So, this is the intake side. This is the exhaust side. So you have one for exhaust, two for intake, right? So I'm gonna put this over here. This is right there. And I'm gonna bring this forward. Now, I'm gonna flip it over. You don't mind all that stuff. Alright, flip it over. Now, as you can see, 
you have these little valves, right? It's nice and spongy. It's too tight. Too tight. Dead. So you notice? It's like flat. See how flat it is? It's supposed to be like that. So this is a dead crank, um, rocker arm. See? That one is like up. Nice and spongy. Nice and spongy. Alright. Really stiff. You can feel the stiffness of it. Nice and spongy. Dead. They're shot. Like, no movement. At all. It's supposed to be spongy. Like that. That's because the spring on the inside is shot. Alright. So now, to, to see if this actually... To see if this actually moves. Or if it's like dead. Because I was trying to use this, uh, um, a screwdriver earlier to take it, take it apart. And that didn't work. So what I did was, the best way to test it, is to flip it back over. Alright, my little washers fell out, but that's no big deal. Um, flip it over, bring it to the end of the table. So you now you see how they're hanging over. Okay. Alright. Now, I just need something to tap it with. Um, should you use anything, really. Like... I'm gonna use this because I don't know where my hammer is right now. So, I'm gonna put a little pressure on it. I'm gonna tap it. Now, those should come out. Yep, came out. Put that came out. So, tap. I'm crazy. I'm gonna flip it over. Nice. See how it's out? See how it's out? Like it looks even, looks nice, looks nice. That's the travel of each one, right? But look at this now. To pay attention. Whoop. Nothing. Dead. Dead. Spongy. That's a good spring. Good spring, but a little, little, you know, a little rough there. A little spongy. Oh, this is really stiff. I didn't tap this one, but if I was to tap this one, let's see. Comes out. Tap it in. Dead. Dead. Good. Good. Alright. Comes out. So. For you guys that have tapping on your KA24E, you need to change your Riker's arms because that's what's causing your tapping noise away. That's that's your problem. All right. So, uh, hope uh, this video helps. And yeah, mm. if you notice, I pulled these. I went along and I did all the crank crank um bearings on the car. Uh, if you notice that this one, cylinder one, is totally fine, it's pretty good. But what I do notice is that, see that wear on it? And, you know, this is the impact point. And you can see where it's like nice and even, but it's not that smooth. I don't know, my hands are a little dirty, but it's not that smooth, it has a little groove to it. But, and, and see, it's not that smooth, it has a little groove to it. But on the vehicle, on the uh, crankshaft, it's perfectly smooth. So, I don't understand how the mechanics of that or, or chemistry behind why is that happening. But these look shot, but crankshaft is perfectly smooth. Now, cylinder two, on the other hand, pull the cap. This is from the bottom part um, of the cap. And this is what it looks like. I didn't clean them up, but I'll probably clean up next time. I'll use these as souvenirs. But you see, it's like scored a little bit, but it's like, on a crankshaft, it's perfectly smooth. And look at this, rust. That's rust. And a crankshaft is perfectly fine. You know, look at that. It's nothing to. And if I didn't pull the cap out, I wouldn't have known that, right? So I recommend that you actually do replace the caps replace your bearings when you get a chance on your KA24E.
motors, and this is cylinder three, comma, one-handed. <laughs> so, take the other. There you go. Boom. Cylinder three. Cylinder three looks, just, like I said, it's rough, but the crankshaft is perfectly fine. I don't understand the chemistry behind it. This is the bottom cap, as you see. Um, bottom cap, bottom cap, if you noticed. Um, but this is my cylinder four. Check that out. And this uh, cylinder four contact point on the crankshaft was actually scored, but I put a new bearing in there anyways, put it together, and it was actually tight. So with a tight fit, can't tell you how long it's gonna last, but it should be all right. Um, so I'll put it back together and I shall give you all an update of all the stuff. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope you learned something on your KA24E. Um, all you gotta do is some rocker arms and you should be good to go. As I'm finishing up this car, actually I'm prepping it, I'm doing other things around it. So this way when the rocker arms come in, I could store them in, put a Valkyrie on, start up and we're gonna hit the streets all right so please stay tuned as soon as i get this done we're gonna see you i see you we're gonna see each other on the streets subscribe like share and see you soon all right one love <laughs>